everyone, this is Kimberly here. Welcome to the channel. Today I will be tackling what's behind me, my china cabinet. Uh, lately, when I don't have a place to put something or just rushing in, it ends up in here. It is a mess, all right? A huge mess. But uh, I've done my tablescape because I participated in a collaboration the Beauty Fall Tablescape, and I will have that linked up top, but I need my china cabinet to match my beautiful tablescape. So I'm gonna be working on it. I'm gonna be placing pieces, or the look I want is somewhat classic and elegant, um, like the old school feel somewhat with a touch of glam. So I'm gonna see if I can get that, all right? So, first things first, I'm gonna show you up close the mess. I'm gonna clear it out and decorate it. <laughs> so here is my mess. Some of these items will stay, some of them will go. That's the middle section. This is the left side of my china cabinet. And again, I have just thrown things in here. <laughs> I also need to find out what size bulb it takes for this china cabinet. Um, have no clue, <laughs> but I'll figure that out and later go to the store and purchase some bulbs because I can light this, this china cabinet up. So let me get it cleared out and go from there. All right guys, I have pulled everything out, cleaned it, and I started placing my dishes in here. As you can see here, I have some new ones. <laughs> the Lux brand from Home Goods. I was about to say Hobby Lobby. Those pumpkin plates, salad plates, they are gorgeous. I was looking for the dinner plates and then I came across the salad plates only and then it hit me. Uh, Kim, you have gold and white dinner plates. Just place the salad plates with that and that will be good. And I'm loving it. I have a set of six of each of these plates, but of course you only see the four. I have the gold on the top. And I'm going to move down to the second shelf and you see these silver ones. Um, also from Marshalls, Home Goods, uh, their sister stores. And I have that on uh, the second shelf. I don't have anything yet on the bottom. I'm going to concentrate on the first two shelves. So I'm just going to start decorating and you can watch me as I decorate.
now I'm gonna share with you how I have my china cabinet styled out for fall. I'm loving it, but I do have to finish it up. I'll be tweaking it a little bit more, but I'm loving what I've done so far. So you'll have to come back and see what else I do with it. But I'm gonna share with you right now how it is now. So let's go in for a closer look. I'm gonna open it back up so you can take a look inside. Open this one first. And we'll start from the top and work our way down. I started with the gold at the top. I wanted a classic look with a touch of glam. And I think I have achieved that. Now what I want to do in these martini glasses is find some crushed uh, glass of some type and place them in the bottom to fill up that little blank area down there and I will be good to go. But I love how all of that is placed. Working ourselves down to the second shelf, I'm wanting something right here don't know what I want to put there yet, but when I find it, I will place it there. But in the meantime, I have my silver set here with my bling glass to the right. And to bring out that pink, I placed and draped the napkin. Now, as you can see here, you can see a cornucopia. Uh, that was painted like a bronzy color for years. And I spray painted that a couple of years ago to silver. And placed my bling DIY pumpkins that I made. Um, and I'll have those, uh, that video linked in the description box or the iCard above. So you can see how I made those. Um, and I think it's really nice in my china cabinet. And moving down to the bottom, this is not finished yet, but I have some cloches. Um, I think I want to fill them with pumpkins or something. I don't know yet, but we'll see. But I have those two there. Those are the Chip and Joanna Gaines line from Target. And right here, as you can see, remember I thrifted some mirrored boxes. Well, these are the boxes, and I just added my Totally Dazzle Bling on the front of them. They don't have anything in them yet, but if I wanted to place flatware, napkin rings, things of that nature, I can place them in here, and it will look less cluttered, okay? I also purchased this beautiful candle holder from Burlington, and I just placed it in here for now. Now I did place this dome in here, this bling dome, but when you saw me place, when, when you saw me placing it in the china cabinet, I had the lid on it, and then I was like, okay, let's place my bling pumpkin in here on top of the pedestal and lean the dome to the side and that's what I did. And lastly, some of you have been asking about Mr. Squirrel. Where well, here he is. He has made his debut again this year. And you all know I have to dress him up. I need to put him on a bow tie and bling him up a bit <laughs> so that's what I'll do 
uh, later and I have that silver acorn and he's placed on a mirrored charger. How cute is he? And he has also been in the family for years, just like Mr. Owl. And those two will always be a part <laughs> of my family. <laughs> Super cute. I love critters. Just as long as they're like this, guys. <laughs> but here is my china cabinet, styled out. I'm loving the look of it. Love that it's not overcrowded. <laughs> Looks very neat. Matches my table. Very pretty, very, very, very pretty. say his last name because I know I will butcher it but I'll have his name listed down below here Joseph is one talented creator uh, he does a lot of decorating him and he has his wife there Mary Ann I've been watching them for a long time and frankly I do not understand why he doesn't have more subscribers than he does he is very very talented I love watching especially his uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas very well let me say the Christmas videos especially but I've been, been binge watching him let me get it right <laughs> I've been binge watching him for the past couple of weeks now especially someone else that I've been watching on YouTube and I've just recently found out about her through a friend um, is Julie and I'll have her name listed down below as well uh, their style is more of Julie and Joseph their style is more of the Tuscan style but if you really take a look at it the style can be mixed with any type of style that you love um, I know in my living room dining room it's more of a mix of things that I love, the glam with the traditional, but if you just pay attention to some of the things that they do, you can use those same type of things in the style that you love. And that's what I love about them both. I'm gonna throw one more person out there and I will be doing more spotlight I will be doing more spotlighting of people that I have been watching and this person I'm gonna put her in the same boat as them uh, I've been watching her I actually I've been knowing of her uh, for a long long time for years because she was on Pinterest for a long time I don't know if she had a YouTube channel back then but I've been following her for a while, and that's Liz. And I'll have her name listed down below as well. But yes, she's another one. So if you are looking for inspiration, you need to check these two ladies and this gentleman out. They are awesome. And tell them I sent you if you don't know them, all right? <laughs> tell them I sent you there. Uh, they. I love their style and I get much inspiration from all three of them. I hope you've enjoyed what I've shared with you. Do you have a china cabinet and do you style it out for fall or the different seasons? Let me know in the description box down below because I would love to know. 
I know in the past I did a collaboration, the style out uh, China cabinets for fall. Um, if you're interested in doing that, let me know and I can make a playlist and you can share your style out cabinets for the season. So let me know that also in the description box down below. And then I will come back and officially announce it and we'll go from there. But if you've been inspired by this video, please like, comment, and share. And if you have not done so, what are you waiting on? I would love for you to become a part of the Diva family. So easy to do. Simply push that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, and you will be a part of our family here. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you will be notified of all the videos that I upload. I can be followed on other social media sites which are Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and now TikTok. Yes, I am on TikTok. All those links will be in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching. You take care, you be blessed, and I will see you on the next video. Love you guys, have a blessed day.